hey guys welcome to today's video so today um was kind of a video i kind of just came up with on a whim and only because my son has been sick for the last two three days so i decided hey i'm gonna film what i do when i didn't get a good night's sleep well i kind of perfected this and learned to like things that i like and things that i do and most of this stuff that's sitting in front of me i had to bring from the other room because i keep it I have like a little tiny vanity in my bedroom because this is a completely separate room. Anyhow, <laughs> so this is the stuff that I use and it's fairly, fairly quick. It's pretty simple. I don't do, um, on a day like that, I wouldn't do a lot of makeup because I'll probably drink, have a second cup of coffee or tea or whatever to kind of so I am wearing like a little sweater cardigan thing because I'm kind of cold here in the basement. I had the air conditioner on and now I turned it off but anyhow so I'm gonna start with um, moisturizing everything pretty much I use I'm gonna use this GNC vitamin E A and D moisturizing cream I do not know if this is cruelty free oh it says not no animal testing so one thing I do like about this is that it's really inexpensive it's like three dollars so um, I've been using it when I'm filming I used to use it at night because it was kind of thicker, but I find that it's not too bad underneath makeup. And the next thing I, um, I try to use this every day, but, um, I really kind of consciously use it on the days like that. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Um, it's in the color clear. I'm not really sure if they have other colors. Maybe they did that for future reference, but, um, I've used this for quite some time. And I've really, really loved it. I've had the Smashbox one, and I like this one better. And I even take a tiny bit on my eyelid just to kind of brighten things up. It's not exactly, um, it's clear, so it doesn't have, like, any canceling, canceling pro properties. And the next thing I use is, I like to really use, like, a, um, a radiant primer or kind of, like, do iridescent dewy kind of primer so this is the um benefit professional pearl primer this is like a deluxe sample that i got at ulta in like that travel section i only got it because i was like well <laughs> it's kind of an interesting primer to buy a full size of so um i probably will end up buying a full size because i do use it quite a bit and then one of the next things that i've used and i've talked about this before even on not days like this this is just things that i consciously pull because i'm like hey i need to wake up i need to look more awake because coffee's not getting to me quick enough so um i use the nyx dark circle concealer corrector and this is the fair one i also have the pixie one but i like this one a bit better i feel like it's not as thick and it's cheaper in the long run and I feel I looked at them today and I was like maybe but I feel like it's a bit lighter than the pixie one so this is the NYX one and this is pixie let's see if I can get the camera to maybe like show a difference so I'm not really sure if that is lighter but it could just be my my little brain this is one ounce and this is they're, these are both 0 0.1 ounces so in a sense it's a better for money for, for better deal <laughs> in a sense it's better deal for your money to get the next one because I've been using it a lot more so I'm just gonna take some of this I just dip my sponge inside of it and then just kind of tap it under my eye and then I'll put my foundation on top of this and then I will put like a brightening concealer I take a little bit of this also around my nose because um, it is kind of a color correcting and when your skin is like t when you're tired it's almost like you're dehydrated too it's almost it's really weird so um I take a little bit over there so that you don't have like that hormonal kind of dry skin redness just kind of take it like all do 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 <laughs> And then um, for my foundation that I'm going to use today, it's the um, Physician Formula Healthy Foundation um, Brightening Complex. So that's probably really like it. Um, 
because it is brightening, but it's also one of my favorite foundations as of late. So I'm just going to put some here on this side and then blend it in and then I will go back in. I feel like I don't have to use very much of this. And also the one thing I like about it is it smells exactly like Urban Decay Naked Skin. Have Urban Decay Naked Skin, maybe just like go smell a tester of this and you will know. Like it smells just like it. Okay, so now I'm just, I'm just going to take some and put it in places that I want a little bit more coverage to make myself look a little bit more. I feel like I always want more on my cheeks and then I'll put some here. <laughs> I'm just painting, drawing designs. Um, so kind of always like to tell people about myself maybe get to make it I really look like you know I don't like it to be just so like straight business makeup all the time because this is still fun like why you know why not have fun so I found I have like really sensitive stomach maybe digestion I'm not sure I haven't really gone to the doctor but I've just been having like really weird random stomach aches so I used to before when the kids were t smaller and nursing and stuff I used to just drink tea in the morning then I just make it in a coffee pot I just put the two tea bags in in a little five cup little coffee pot and then I just brew it from there so that so yeah I kind of went back to that I just use regular Lipton tea bags just use two small I don't know what this dog's problem is okay I'm gonna go take the dog out and I'll be right back so we've done the foundation. I'm going to go on and move on to my eyes. The, when I do eye makeup in the day like this, because normally, so on a day like this, I don't normally do a lot of makeup. It's only be if I really have to go somewhere. If I have an appointment I have to get to, something I can't cancel, something I don't really want to cancel. Um, so I don't really have to do a lot. I don't really tend to do a lot. And one time I just literally just completely scrapped makeup and I just looked like a haggard mess. My mom was like, you, you don't look you don't are you feeling okay and I'm like I'm just tired <laughs> so anyways so um this is what I would normally do I don't do a lot of eyeshadow so I just kind of brought the things in from the other room that I like to use all the time I have two different vari varieties of stuff that I use and so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Milani eyeshadow primer and then this is like mom life like in the total like mom truth makeup tutorial um okay so I put that on um I just normally set my eye makeup my eye primer with just my face powder I've just been using the elf finishing powder as of late if hit to pan pretty good so I'm just taking a big giant fluffy brush and placing that here on the lid and then um so I have this Stila little it's a sunset desert compact I got it off um Holt look um is it Holt look Holt look let me see I haven't been on there in a long time is it right I'm like totally out of sorts right now like, the husband was talking to me yes it's Holt look so I got this steel off of Holt look um and I like it because I can really just kind of do one look and I normally have um wet and wild brulee it's kind of one of my go-to shadows it kind of fits with anything or I have this J cat um half naked shadow and then Lord and Barry um I kind of put these together so so I'm just going to take my Lord and Barry it's just this grace eyeshadow if I can find it I will link it below some of this stuff I may not be able to find but this is just what I use um it's pretty much just like a cool tone almost like gray topaz shade it's it's matte so I'm just gonna place this in the crease just lightly and I'm gonna really blend it out I just really wanted some definition I don't need like a smoky eye or anything like that I'm gonna take this J cat beauty shadow it's kind of like it's kind of like a like a it's really interesting it's like a golden um champagne kind of color I really like it because um sometimes I will take like a pink tone shade I don't really have one of those anymore I used to use one a while back but I just take this and place this all over the lid and I don't do it really like heavily just for a nice kind of to open the eye up I'm not gonna put on any liner because 
I just don't feel like that's necessary in a situation like this. And I just kind of do really like um, curled fluttery lashes to kind of really open up my eye no matter how tired I really am. All right, so for a last final step that I just like to do, it just helps me to feel awake. I have two like metallically, metallic -y pink liners. This is the L'Oreal Silk Kissimmee in Lumineer. There's like a smudge on it, I'm not really sure. A Lumineer. Um, it's like a pink tone. What is happening? So the one I'm gonna use today is the Tarina Tarantino one in Broken Doll. Um, you can still get this. Her products are on clearance on her website. She's more focused on jewelry right now, so I don't know if they're making any more products. So I'm just gonna place this, the dog drinking water. On the inner corner and then I kind of drag it here all right so I'm gonna curl my lashes this is just a Revlon um, lash curler I've had for a while and it has rhinestones on it good on clearance because I was like um, pink rhinestones why not it's kind of goop goopy because it has lash glue on it for some reason I'm gonna use my lash warrior from flower this isn't my most favorite mascara right now. I haven't really found one from a cruelty free brand that I love, but it's not the worst one I've ever tried. So I've just kind of been giving it a little bit of love. I normally contour it. And if I do do anything like that, I will just do it like a bronzer because then it's like two in one and it kind of adds more illumination to my skin. But I'm just gonna take this Milani, um, color harmony blush in coral beam and just kind of mix all of these together and then place this here on my cheek the um only diff the only um thing you need to know about this product is that it's just it's like not one of those like a little goes a long way i mean you have to kind of really build it up but i think that's probably something that a lot of people i cannot like this whole video there's so much interruptions <laughs> real mom life is happening and then i'm gonna take like a hydrating lip balm this is a pixie one it's the pixie sheer butter lip balm and this one is like a tint to it it's um honey nectar so i just place some of this on i like um like lip tints or like a balm tint you know really on the hunt to find something more like that so then I'm gonna go ahead and apply I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit lower lash mascara because um, that can help I think one thing that I will note about this um, flower warrior lash mascara is that it's really easy to put on your lower lashes because it kind of has that spiky pokey bristle brush Like it's really spiky and bulky. So that's kind of cool. And it's kind of twisted in a way. So it's really interesting. I'm not really sure what their concept behind it is, but it's kind of, it's really pretty packaging as well. So that is like my fresh face, wake up the day mom makeup. Um, with all the interruptions with the dog and like everybody else, the phone people, it's fine that's just the life that it is as the mom so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if it was helpful fun interesting crazy to watch um i hope you guys did like it if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave take your come here come on come on come on i don't know if you guys can see my dog his name's taker he's a pitbull mix those are my taker huh that's him. Your mama's little interrupter. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.